Okay, folks, we're live here. Um, this is Wesley Billion Dollar Virgin. This is another late night sessions with a real life self made millionaire from the South. Let's go, H Town, Texas. Let's go. So, basically, folks, if you're brand new to this, what I do is I contribute my time to you. Let me know if you can hear me clearly where you can ask me any question you want about business, about life, about whatever. Whatever question that you feel that you need answered so you can leave that deadbeat nine-to-five job and start controlling and creating your world, okay? Can you hear me? Can, can, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Okay, great. So, yeah, it's, it's about creating your world, right? A lot of you have a nine-to-five job, right? Some of you are in school and you can't stand the professors. As a matter of fact, you can't even stand the major that you're in right now. And uh, maybe you're in your 20s, 30s, and you're just, you know, the life that you're currently living, this is not the life that you thought you were about to, leave, to live. So if that's true, um, come at the word amen and hit the like button and let's get busy. But one thing I want to throw out there before we get started here is <clears throat> years ago, and I tell the story over and over again, I wish I had somebody like myself that I could ask a question to. That was someone that was living the life that I wanted to live. Guys, you know, believe it or not, years ago, I used to email millionaires every day, you know, people that I thought that were successful, and I never got an email back, ever. When I was at low times, I never got an email back. When they were taking my cars, I never got an email back. <clears throat> when I didn't know how I would have my next meal or pay my bills properly or even take care of my children, they never emailed me back. So I made a commitment to myself, a commitment to God that if I would ever have the chance to be able to succeed greatly, okay, um, I would pay it for it. And all I do is ask you to do the same thing. You know, I believe all of you that are listening to my voice right now, whether you live right now or maybe you're watching the replay on YouTube, it's going to happen for you. I don't know when. I can't tell you that. I'm not a psychic. I'm a psychic only on Tuesdays. I'm just kidding. But all I know is this. You're different. Okay? You're different because, you know, majority of people, it's over 6 billion people in the world, um, and maybe more than 99% of them, they're not doing what you're doing right now. Why? Because people got to get enough sleep to go to work. They got to go to school in the morning. They need more sleep. They need eight hours, 10 hours of sleep. So they're not willing to do and make the sacrifices today to get the things that they want for tomorrow. Okay? But you're different. You're here. So I want you to ask me questions here. Um, I'm going to spend whatever time Instagram allows me to be on live with you. Um, whatever your question is about whatever you got going on, let me help you. Let me sow a seed. Let me pour into your life. Is that cool? If that's cool, all I want you guys to comment below. Let's go! If that's cool. If that's cool. All right? All right. Question for me. Question. Hello, Dennis. Hello, Fearless. T. Grosser. J. Hinda. Matt. Trent. What's up, baby? Mile. Trent. M.G. Bootsy. Ramey. Law. Wiz. Blah, uh, <laughs> Luis, Miss Monopoly. All right, I'm going to go, I'm going to scroll up here, and I'm going to go to the first question here. Ask me whatever question you want. I am a real-life self-made millionaire. Um, I don't say that braggadociously. I say it very humbly. It's not a big deal to be a millionaire, but it does give you options in life. You can do things that other people can't do, and I want the same thing for you here. First question is this. Hold on. <laughs> Uh, a long question for me. Uh, Matt asked me the question here, my man. Wiz, <clears throat> Wesley, do you work with Shopify? I do. Miss Monopoly, do you do e-com? Um, I do some Shopify right now. I do. Miss Monopoly, do you do Facebook ads? Absolutely. Bread and butter of the business right now. Wiz, Wesley, can you please explain how does Shopify work? So Shopify is nothing but a platform, folks. 
it gives you the ability to sell products. Uh, let's go to the website. How about that? All right. This is Shopify.com. Now, I'm not an expert in Shopify, but we do pretty well. But there's other people out there that do very well. Um, <clears throat> and I can recommend you guys somebody if you want to learn from them. So, see, this is Shopify. It's an e-commerce platform made for you. <laughs> Basically, folks, it's just like an online store. That's all what it does. All right? <clears throat> In the back end of the Shopify store, it gives you access to your customers. Um, it gives it a very way to connect it to your shipping. It's just a platform, okay? It's just a platform where you can sell stuff online, basically. That's all what it does, all right? And it allows you to connect it to Stripe and other merchant processors that you can pay yourself. But it just makes it easy for you to add, delete things from your store, keep accountability. So it's just a platform that makes it easy for you to create a store online. That makes sense? Okay. All right, let me go back to a website that actually counts, that actually makes sense. <clears throat> Okay, here we go. Oh, I feel so much better. WesleyVirgin.com. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, question for me. Um, oh, well, hold on. Here we go. Uh, question. Any question for me, folks? Don't be shy. You know, don't be shy. Come on, don't be shy, guys. What is your question here? How did you find out about internet marketing? Um, <clears throat> so, that's a great question. I was overseas. I used to work in Afghanistan. In Afghanistan, I was a contractor because I got kicked out of the army because I had a big mouth and I was rebellious and I didn't want to listen to anybody. Okay. <laughs> so I went overseas as a contractor and I was making about $80,000 per year, but I was working 12 hours a day, every single day. And I stumbled upon the internet as far as I discovered that at the time overseas, I was training soldiers to work out because <clears throat> my low self-esteem when I was like 18, 19, 17 years old, I decided to pick up some weights because I didn't want to be a skinny, scrawny guy like I was in high school. So I started to work out and I created this amazing body and I started to train people. And I had the thought, I said, what if I can do what I was doing in person online? And that's what started my journey because I'm like this, folks. I don't know about you. I'm all about doing things easier, more efficiently, where I don't have to be there and make money. You know, me right now, I'd rather be in Bora Bora right now, naked on the beach uh, <clears throat> with my girl, or I'd rather be in Paris shopping in Milan with my girl. That's what I want to do. Like right now, that's what I would rather do, okay? Um, and while making money at the same time. And luckily, I do have the opportunity because I'm making money like right now. But I'm not going to Paris. I'm not going to Bora Bora right now because Why? Well, my girl got a job, so she can't just leave like that. And I'm just kidding, guys. And um, I want to do this video for you, okay? And I want to help you out. Next question for me. <clears throat> Hold on. How much is your one-on-one -on -one private coaching? Right now, I have people that pay me up to $100,000 per month. I know you think that's insane. I understand. I understand. But I will, for per hour, I do have a rate of $5,000 per hour. I will help you, and I will coach you. But if anybody want to take me up tonight, I'll do it for $1,000 hour, $1, um, per hour. I'll do that tomorrow. You just put something in the comments below, and um, and I'll do it for 1000 bucks. But usually I charge 5000 bucks per hour to train people, okay? <laughs> Wait, so can you please – oh, I just explained how Shopify works. <clears throat> So, guys, put your questions here. I don't respond to a lot of DMs because I get a lot of them. I get a 1,000. I really do get a lot. So I can't respond to all your questions. Sometimes I leave a heart just to let you know that I did acknowledge your questions, but I can't answer a 1,000 questions every single day. I wouldn't get any work done, I mean, to be honest with you. I couldn't create any videos for you as well. How do you get up with motivation? Trent, Trent, if you're here, I want you to listen to me closely, Trent. I want you to bring your ear to the phone because I want to, I want to, um, I'm going to share something with you. How to get up with motivation. Listen, right now, see if it's 8 o'clock in the morning. This is how I do it. Motivated! Dedicated! Let's go! That's how I do it. Okay? That's it. I just make a decision, you know? It's all about making a decision. <laughs> I know you guys think this guy's fucking insane right now, right? I mean, understand this. It is no secret 
uh, is no, uh, excuse me, it's no formula for you to be motivated. I mean, it's no formula, you know what I mean? You, you got to make a decision to do it. That's it. You got to tell yourself, you know, I'm motivated today. Today is my day. Today I'm going to win. Today I'm not going to roll out of bed. I'm going to get out of bed. I'm going to jump out of bed. I'm going to look at myself in the mirror and say how grateful I am that everything is working out in my favor. See, that's a choice. Everybody believes that, you know, motivation is just going to come out the sky like God's going to throw like something down and motivate you. No, it doesn't work like that. <clears throat> okay. Motivation you have to be able to find that within yourself. You know, my videos are great. I know my videos motivate you, and I appreciate that. I know my videos inspire you. I appreciate that. But don't don't expect Wesley Virgin or any other speaker or any other person that's able to <clears throat> inspire you to motivate you. That's your job, okay? And you just got to do it. So what I want you to do, Trent, is I want you to scream motivated, dedicated right now. And I want you to comment those words below. And I want you to send me a video. If you don't, I'm going to whoop your ass. I'm just kidding, bro. I'm not going to whoop your ass. But maybe I will. I <laughs> but I love you, Trent. Trent, <clears throat> make a decision. Get out of your bed right now. Go look at yourself in the mirror. Scream motivated, dedicated. It doesn't matter if people hear you. Who gives a damn, right? Okay? Get up. Get up. Get active. Do you know Chris Collins? Uh, Chris Collins. I think I do. I'm not sure. What's the first investment I want to be billionaires should make? I don't understand the questions, Rita. Hey, Rita. Hey, Rita. That's her name, guys. Hey, Rita. Because she has three Y's in her name. Hey, Rita. Rita, ask me the question one more time. Where do you start? Just by taking action. You can always go below in my bio section, in my description section here if you're on YouTube, and you can click the link that says seven mind hacks and grab the millionaire mind hacks. Or if you're on Instagram right now, go to my bio. Look up. Hey, 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 hey. I'm talking to you. Look up right now. In my bio, you'll see a link. Click it. Grab the hacks. That's how you start by taking action, okay? Start, I mean, <clears throat> I'm kind of sick and tired of you guys sending me messages. Where do I start? Where do I start? Where do I start? Where do I start? How many... I've did over 1,200 videos, folks. I mean, Jesus Christ. What do you mean? If you're new, still no excuse. Take action. I give away free information every single day, okay? The information is on WesleyVirgin.com. It's on YouTube. It's everywhere, okay? Search me in Google. I am everywhere. It is no reason why you can't get started, okay? No fucking excuses. Remy, Remy, is it possible... To make a million dollars from a dollar product in a couple of months. Of course, sell a million sell a million dollars worth of the dollar product. Easy, easy math, right? And I dropped out of college. I didn't even pass algebra, and I know that, okay? Damon, with everything that goes on in our lives, how do we stay in that positive vibration all day long, even when things don't go your way? That's a good question, Damon. So um, it was a time that I didn't have... See, I think the big issue with so many people is this is they don't have positive people around them, right? When you wake up in the morning, you may watch a West of the Virgin video, right? You you fired up, right? You like, I'm gonna go conquer the world. But you go to your job, you gotta deal with stupid co-workers, the boss, your mama telling you stuff, your daddy telling you, your significant other telling you that you're not gonna make it, your friend just teasing you, right? And that's the problem because your environment is so convoluted with negativity, okay? Hit the like button if that's the truth, right? <laughs> right? So the problem is, how do you stay in that vibration? Listen to me closely here, Damon. This is probably the most difficult thing you will have to do on the planet, okay? The difficult thing you'll ever have to do, um, aside from raising kids, okay? That shit is hard. Um, listen, as you got to disconnect, okay? Years ago, almost 10 years ago, I disconnected from my family. I disconnected from my mother, my dad, my brother, um, <clears throat> my sister-in-law, all my friends. I didn't have many, thank God. Um, I disconnected from them. You know, I talked to my mom probably one time a week. I love my mom because she always gave me encouraging words. She was probably the only person that stayed positive, even though every day I would come over there, or like once a month, I would say, yeah, I'm going to be a fucking multimillionaire, guys. I didn't say fucking because my parents are they're pastors of a church. So I didn't curse, obviously. But I did say, I'm going to be rich. You'll see. Dad say, when? 
Mom said, I believe. I can see you on the screen, son. I see you. You're going to happen for you. You're going to be on Oprah. You're going to be on Ellen. It's going to happen for you, my son. And she believed in me. But, um, yeah, you got to disconnect. What you need to do is go to your phone if you have the balls or the guts and delete everybody that's not adding value to your life. That's the hardest thing for a person to do. It's almost impossible. You know why? Because people are so committed to their fucking friends. They like they so they feel so emotional. You know, oh, that's my best friend. That's my girl. That's my boy. It's been ten years. It's been five years. Who gives a fuck? Let me say something with you. You're getting older. You're not getting any younger. Okay. Before you know, it, you're gonna be thirty. <laughs> Then 35, then 40, and 45, then 50. And nothing worse than a 40-year-old or a 30-year-old that still have a nine-to-five job, still living from paycheck to paycheck, have children, have a wife, and you still can't support your family. Let me share something with you. The lack of money causes frustration. Can I get an amen? The lack of money causes problems in people's relationships, period. Can I get an amen to that? So the thing is, Damon, Think about that. Do you want to be the 30-year-old or the 40-year-old still living paycheck to paycheck, still can't travel the world, still can't give your woman the best life that she deserves? Or do you say, fuck it, and cut everybody off? I did it, and now I'm rich. And as I as, <clears throat> as I got rich, I came back to my family. I said, hey, guys, how you doing? I'm rich now. I, I know I had to take a hiatus for a while. Had to leave you for a moment, but now, bad daddy, here's a brand new Rolex. God bless. Dad, here's a brand new Mercedes. God bless. Mom, here's a brand new Audi that you wanted. God bless. Hey, as a matter of fact, let me send you guys to Hawaii. God bless. Let me send you guys to Jerusalem. God bless. Does that make sense? Okay. Separate. Get away from the people. And another thing is tell yourself the money every single day that you're a winner when you talk to yourself because we are always constantly talking to ourself internally. Always. Tell yourself, you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm great. I'm amazing. I'm rich. I'm a millionaire. Things are going well. Things are going great. I can see it. I can feel it. I'm grateful. Talk to yourself even when you're at work, you're at the job. When you drive into your car, continue to talk to yourself and continue to listen to videos like this. Like, not just me, Tony Robbins, Jim Rohn. There's so many great people. Listen, feed your mind with the things that you want to see. Feed your mind with success. Understand this, success leaves clues. Come on, guys. I want you guys to comment that below. Success leaves clues. This is not a puzzle. This is not some secret how to be rich or successful on the fucking planet here. There's too many people that are successful, and then you have access to the internet that you can pull up a video. You can watch it and watch it and watch it and listen to it all single day until your mind has built a foundation of success, a foundation of resilience. Then guess what? When you get around people that are negative, it won't affect you. When people tell you you won't make it, it won't affect you. When people call you a loser, when people say you're broke. When people see you dream building and say, hey, how are you going to afford that? It won't affect you. Make sense? All right. Next question for me. <clears throat> do make <clears throat> do make most of your money through life coaching? Uh, nope. I make my money all types of ways. I'm in the health industry. I'm in the personal development industry. I help people get wealthy as well. I'm in the real estate industry. I do stocks. I mean, I do a lot of stuff, actually. What are your... What is the source of income? I, I just said it. I just said it. Do you do stock trading? A little bit. Not a lot. I made so much from Shopify. Good job. Too real. Are you the one who answers the emails that you send you? Yes, I do. And I do have a team that answers the emails as well. Um, just to let you know, I have over 200,000 customers around the world. So it's impossible for me to answer every question, but I do do my best to answer as many as possible. If you're in my millionaires in training group, I do answer those personally. Okay. And if you guys want to know more about that, you can always contact my girl, Ariella. Um, she is my sales director. Uh, she's my number two, actually. You can reach out to her or you can just go to wesleyvirgin.com. Click on the button Millionaire Mind Hack Club. It will lead you over to um, the millionaires in training in a circle, and you will get more information about that, how to join that particular program. Okay? Make sense? Let's go. What's up, 26s? How are you doing? How was work today? Wesley, Tom Oliver. Yeah, what? What, bro? What? Joseph, I'm a very young, and I want to start earning money, but because of my age, I can't get one do I wait? I'll keep trying. Okay. First of all, Joseph, age has nothing to matter. Okay. My son, he's like 11 years old. He brought me in $30,000 a month ago. And now he gets paid off my products based off what he learned from me. 
The only thing different from him, he just took fucking action, okay? He see his dad driving the Lambos. He see his dad living a life. He see his dad always in a positive mindset. So my son says, oh, my son is smart. He said, David living a dream, so I need to do the same thing. But what he did is take action. Just go to the Millionaire Mind Hack Club. You'll find out how my son, who is 12 years old, about to be 13. Happy birthday, son. Um, <clears throat> happy birthday, David. Um, <clears throat> go to the Millionaire Mind Hack. And you can read the story. You can see exactly how we do it. And guess what? I give it away for free. Isn't that crazy? Just go to the website. Go to Millionaire Mind Hack Club. And I will show you how my son did it. So if he can do it at 11, I'm pretty sure you're not 11. You're probably older than that. Anybody can do it. You just got to be willing to do what? Take action. That's it. How old are you? Um, I'm in my 30s. Where do you start from? What do you mean, where do you start from? I just took action. Folks, I took action. What do you mean, where do you start from? <laughs> All right? The thing is, years ago, I didn't have websites like this that would show you, like WesleyVirgin.com, that would show you step by step how to become a very successful person. The, the thing that I think a lot of internet marketers miss when they're trying to teach people how to be successful, they're not talking enough about mindset. They're not talking about building a foundation to build the success or pawn. See, you guys think that you need to build a skill or develop the skill or be able to uh, make the sacrifices to learn the how-to. But what I'm telling you is this, that you can build, you can build the biggest house, okay? You can build the largest high-rise on the planet, but if you don't have a foundation, that motherfucker is going to fall, okay? It's going to fall, I'm telling you. You can build it high, but if you don't have a foundation, if you don't have the mindset, you won't continue to build or be able to endure through the times of hardship or the times when things are not going to work out according to how you think they should. Make sense? So you got to build a foundation first. It's very important. How to stay motivated. How to stay motivated. Hey, hey, champion, watch this video one more time. I talked about motivation. Motivation is easy. Make a decision. Hold on. Let me do it again. Hey, champ, come to the phone real quickly here. Bring your ear to the phone. Come here. Come here. No, serious, champ. Champ, come to the phone. I'm going to motivate you right now. Motivated! Daddy, get it, let's go! Okay? Got me? You good? All right. Awesome. I just motivated you for free. Are you married? I am not. When you were young and broke, who other than yourself motivated you? Who were your role models? Tony Robbins. Um, I, I got to give it up to my man, Tony Robbins. Anthony Robbins was probably one of my unofficial mentors. I've been to his seminars. I've been to what is called UPW, Unleash the Power Within. Everybody should go there. I just think you should. It's amazing. It's life-changing. So he was my only mentor, even though I never really met him in person. But he did transform my life. I'm going to be honest with you, 100%. Okay. What's the new VSL that you're working on? Oh, it's a secret, Leslie. It's a secret. <laughs> but I'm going to make a billion dollars. Yep, I said it. I'm going to make one billion dollars on the next product that you guys will see in the first quarter of 2019. Let's go. Okay. Miss Monopoly, who helped you to learn and master Facebook ads? Well, I have a team that does it. I'm not really a master of Facebook ads. I know how to make some money, but I have people that I hire and they do it for me. Wow, dude, you're an inspiration. Thank you so much. <laughs> Whoa, I appreciate that. Thank you. What's up, Andy? Joseph, Tara. <laughs> I'm young and want to make money for the future. But because of my age, I just answered your question, Jay. I make apps and I want to make an app for you. <clears throat> and we do a podcast in it. Okay, go ahead and make the app first. Send me the link so I can download it. I'm going to check it out and we'll um, take it from there. Cool. Can you make a million dollars off one dollar product? Oh, man, these are the same questions. Hold up. Let me scroll all the way down, folks. Hold on. <clears throat> Wesley Kez. Do you have to create a product or can you sell one that's already out there? Um, you can do both. You can either create a product or sell one. In the beginning, I was selling other people a product, but I did learn how to become a vendor, which means I created a digital product. A digital product is basically a product that is not physical. I mean, fuck physical products. Who cares about this stuff? Digital products, it costs nothing but time to make, okay? Okay. So I'm all about creating products and giving value to the world and charging for it, okay? Do you do shout-outs? Yep, $5,000 and up a piece for me to do a shout-out for anybody on my Instagram. Here we go. Uh, 
Wesley, when you get in the mansion, you are growing your condo soon. Oh, first of all, I would never get rid of my condo because I love it here. I'm in the heart of Houston, Texas. I'm around everything. Um, this is just a place to be. Um, I'm probably in the safest high rise on, in Houston, Texas right now. And it's amazing. It's beautiful. And uh, it's the shit. <laughs> I'm, ne I'm never leaving. I mean, look at that view. You kidding me right now? Look at that view. And my shades are automatic as well. So are you And my bed vibrates. So I'm living a dream right now. <laughs> okay? I just need a nice, soft, beautiful woman right beside me, right? Or maybe I have one right now. I'm just kidding, folks. I don't. I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a loner. Okay, what do your parents want you to to be when you were in school? Um, Actually, so my parents, I, I became an engineer. You guys don't know that, but I used to be an engineer. A Citrix computer engineer. Y'all was a nerd, whatever. My dad bought me a computer when I was eight years old. And let me say something. My parents, they told me not to quit my job. I said, you know what, guys? I'm quitting my job. They said, what? Are you stupid? Are you crazy? They didn't say if I was stupid. They said, oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. I said, I don't think that's a great idea. I was in my 20s. I said, you know, I'm leaving my job. I'm tired of this. I'm bored. You know, I was making good money, but the thing is, I was putting too much time. So I couldn't enjoy the money. I was always working, always traveling, always on conference call. Can anybody relate to that? I mean, it was working me to, to death, to be honest with you. And I told my parents I'm leaving. And I'm telling them, they begged me not to go, but I did. What did you major in when you were in college? Um, computer engineering, but I dropped out because I figured out something that most people don't. I was smarter than my teacher. I swear to God. I was smarter than my teacher. So I said, hey, you know what? I made the executive decision to leave, and I got out of there. Okay? That was a waste of my time, to be honest with you. I'm not discouraging you to go to college. I'm not discouraging you guys not to go to college. All right? But the college is not for everybody. It wasn't for Mark Zuckerberg. It wasn't good for Steve Jobs, for Jeff Bezos, for a lot of people. Okay? So it's all good. Even Warren Buffett. I don't think he graduated. Okay, affirmation. Okay, how do I actually work it out? Okay, cool. Uh, how do I con get in contact with you for the private coaching? Uh, email me at wv at wesleyvirgin.com and make sure you have $1,000 in hand. Okay, as a matter of fact, just PayPal me. PayPal me, wesley.virgin. Yes, virgin as in Virgin Mary, as in no sex, as in I'm not getting none. Wesley.Virgin at 7, that's the number 7, dayfitness.com. Or you can PayPal me at Wesley underscore Virgin at Yahoo.com. Okay? <clears throat> Send me the money. Send me the money, baby. Send me the money, honey. Do you prefer eBay, Amazon, or Shopify? Um, Amazon and Shopify, I like them both. I don't know much about eBay because I never used it to sell any products on. But they do work. When did you hear about the true power of personal development? That's a good um, good question there, JP. And guys, if you're getting value right now, if you guys are liking this, and if you want me to do more of this, hit the like button. Even if you're on YouTube right now, just hit the like button for me. Just let me know if you like what I'm doing here because I want to do more late night sessions with Wes, and one day I'm going to do it live in front of your face so you can actually interact with me personally. So hit the like button if you like this. If you don't, then I'll uh, screw you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! I'm always lit. All right, hold on. Um, okay, so let me share how <clears throat> I actually learned about <clears throat> personal development when I was overseas in Afghanistan. And I remember my brother, at the time, my younger brother, he was in an organization in network marketing, multi-level marketing, and he says, he says, Wes, um, you need to listen to this audio here. And I said, what audio are you talking about? He said, Wes, I'm going to buy an iPad or iPhone, and I'm going to put all this audio on it, and I'm going to ship it to you in Afghanistan. I want you to listen to it. And I said, what are you talking about? Because he was getting mentored by a multimillionaire himself. Me, I was just out in the wilderness, in the sand, right, just trying to support the, the military. And he sent me that audio. No lie. I will listen to that audio. Tony Robbins, Jim Rohn, Dennis Waitley, Les Brown, um, Jerry Clark, Holton Bugs. Um, a lot of these guys you probably don't know about. It. If you know about personal development, you do know these people. But I, I will listen to them eight hours a day, every day, all day. Seriously. I mean, I was sitting in my office in Afghanistan, and I will listen to Tony Robbins for eight hours a day. I swear to God. Every day. Every day, I was so fascinated with his mindset. And the first book I ever read was Secrets of a Millionaire Mind by T.K. Hart Eckhart. 
Secrets of a Millionaire Mind. Go get that book ASAP. At that time, I wasn't even a reader, but I couldn't put the book down. It really changed the way that I think, actually, my mindset. <clears throat> how did you? How did your mindset change with becoming a millionaire? Uh, I got knowledge, to be honest with you. Like I tell you guys, like I tell my children, readers are leaders. The thing is, the more knowledge you have, the more prepared you are for the experience, okay? Make sense? You got to have knowledge, then you'll be prepared for things that happen to you in your life, like events, negative events, positive events, whatever. You got to get knowledge. You got to learn. You got to learn about yourself. You got to learn what makes you tick, what makes you mad, what makes you angry, what makes you happy, right? You have to understand that, understand people, learn about people. So when I got more knowledge, I started to understand that the problem wasn't nothing outside of me. It wasn't my boss, my job, my mama, my daddy. It wasn't me the entire time. It was my issue, okay? Because how I looked at my world, I didn't know this, guys. You let me know if you feel the same way. I would look at my world so negatively. I would say, you know, I watched the news, and the news was always talking about some negative event. And I was like, man, the world fucking sucks. And, you know, this person and president, everything is going to shit. This world sucks. No jobs out there. They're paying us nothing. And I didn't realize all that negative talk. It was just a perception, you know. It wasn't that the world was really bad. It's just my perception. It's almost like going to the party. Two guys going to the party, right? One guy goes to the party, has a fight with someone, get beats up, and another guy goes to the party, and he finds the girl to get laid, right? <laughs> Same party, but two different experiences. It's just his perception, okay? Make sense? So at the same time that you think the world sucks, I'm telling you the world is amazing. It's all about your focus and where you're spending most of your energy on. If you're spending your energy with negative people and they're talking about how fucked up Trump is and fuck Trump and forget this world and, you know, people killing people, people dying around the world, well, you're going to very have a very, very obtuse um, perception of life. You know, it's going to be very... Um, uh, not fair. It's going to be just unfairly. Because I'm telling you, it's the same world. It's amazing. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's grateful. Um, I can't wait to wake up in the morning just to get the another opportunity to conquer my world. I love it so much. I mean, it's just fun. I don't know. The, the world is uh, is amazing here. Question for me. Um. <laughs> I love you guys so much. You sound like a pastor when you get all hype. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, I probably get that from my dad, folks. A lot of people say I sound like a pastor. My dad still believes that I'm going to be a minister. I said, Dad, I'm not going to be a pastor. I'm not going to be a minister. I'm, I'm just not. That's, that's not my thing. It's, guys, I'm not really religious. Even though I grew up in church, I'm more spiritual, okay? I do believe in God. I choose to believe in God, all right? Do I know if he's actually there? I don't know. But it's just a choice, and, you know, we call God higher power, you know, all these different names, whatever. Um, I just think it's something, we can call it a source, universe, Buddha, whatever you want to call it, but it's something that created us that we should be grateful and thankful for every single day, okay? I think that's what's important, to be in gratitude. Do you keep in contact with your old friends now that you're successful? Absolutely not. Oh! I mean, I really don't. I'm a different person now. You know, every once in a while, my one of my best friends does reach out to me. And maybe once a year, um, we have lunch, you know. But the thing is, it, it just let me tell you why it's going to be very uncomfortable to be with old friends. Because old friends are still, they still want to deal with you how you were before you were successful. I mean, you're different. You know, you don't want to have certain type of conversations. Maybe certain type of negative talk you don't want to hear. Maybe some of the things that you can do, they can't do. So what are you going to talk about? I am not going to sit there for hours and talk about old times. I don't care about old times. Oh, man, you remember when we did this? You remember in the back of the early we, we you, you remember when you was fucking up? No, no. I don't even want to remember that shit. Who cares? It's in the past. You'll find out once you hit a level of success, a lot of your friends... They still live in the past. They want to talk about everything that happened five, ten years ago that you don't give a damn about, okay? So it's not that I don't want to hang with them. It's just the conversation and the interaction is a bit uncomfortable because they're still where you left off, okay? You have soared, right? You have evolved. So, yeah, it's tough, you know? I just, I, I just rather just live in my own bubble. Question for me. 
Would you approach people one by one in person to sell your product? Nope. Not with the internet, man. You can reach everybody so quickly with the internet. What if I start and want you to let me make you an app? Go ahead. Make me an app, bro. Do it. Go to westerlyvirgin.com and learn all about me and make me an app. What do you do what you do? Why? Oh, why do you do what you do? For my children. Um, because I want to have options in life. I want to be able to do what I want to do. I'm going to be honest with you, folks. I want to do whatever I want to do when I want to do it. Period. Like every day when I wake up, yeah, I'm always in a positive mood. But maybe I want to go buy a car. Maybe I want to go to Bora Bora. Maybe I want to go to Dubai. Maybe I want to go play basketball. Maybe I want to go shoot hoops. Maybe I want to eat my the food from my shelf. Maybe I want to hang out and talk to my maid. Um, maybe, I don't know. I just want to do whatever I want to do. Make sense? Maybe I want to go play tennis. Uh, you know, maybe I want to go swimming in Fiji. I don't know. But I just want to have the option to do what I want to do. So that's why I do what I do. And I want to create a legacy for my children. I want them to be able to live an excellent, euphoric life. I really want my kids never to worry about money. Why? Because I want them to do what they want to do based off them making a contribution to the world. I don't want them to have to survive. Right? A lot of people have to get a job because they're trying to survive. They work to survive. They're going to school to survive. Survive. The survival aspect of them is already taken care of by their dad, which means is I want them to go out and do something great in the world, right? I want them to make a contribution. Don't worry about money. Daddy took care of that for life. You go make your own money or you can go, but do something that you're passionate about with no stress, with no concern about when you're going to have your next meal, when can you buy clothes, stuff like that. No, no, no. Survival needs are taken care of that. I want my children to conquer the world. Whatever they want to do, make a contribution to the world like their daddy does, okay, without the need of worrying about money. Can I make you an app? Absolutely. Make me one, bro. Make me an application. I'm down. When is the best age, when is the best age to start trying to make money? Five years old. How do I go about getting... Okay, next question. Any more questions for me, folks? These are some great questions. I'm proud of you guys. And guys, you can always like and share this video if you want to. You can tag somebody if you decide to right now. You don't have to. And remember, you can always go to my website here, westlevirgin.com, westlevirgin.com. Go to the website, get more information, learn how to become a millionaire. You, I do have programs for sale, but you don't have to buy anything from me. I'm just telling you, you don't have to buy anything from me right now at all. Everything, I have a lot of stuff that's free. Look at this, free stuff. Over 200 hours of content that have helped so many people become rich people. I'll be honest with you, a lot of them. I got one guy by the name of Jeff. Jeff. He found me online two years ago today, and before he was broke as a joke, today at the age of 25, he's making $30,000 a day, okay? That's pretty good money. Not too bad, right? It's pretty good money right there, right? Only because he went to WesleyVirgin.com and he said, Wesley, I watched every video that you've ever put out. And as a matter of fact, Wesley, I watched it more than one time. Okay? So what I'm telling you is make sure you watch this video more than once. Why? Because repetition is the mother of skill. Okay? Watch it more than once. Question for me. What's up, Barbara? Emmanuel, what's up? How can I become better and not talking about money only? Um, when you say, how can I become better, what do you mean? Better at what? What's the PayPal email again? My PayPal is Wesley underscore virgin at yahoo.com. If you send me a $1,000, I will email you my number. I mean, I will get your number and I will call you and I would do a 30-minute, I'm sorry, I would do an hour coaching with you or I could do it online. We could do a face-to-face -face so you can see my eyes. You can see my beautiful brown eyes and my amazing smile. And I will talk to you and help you and guide you through whatever you're working on. So that's Wesley underscore virgin at yahoo.com. It is a thousand bucks. And I know some of you guys say, oh, that's too much money. If you say that, you'll never be successful. You just got to go get the money. It all depends on where you are in life. Okay. Make sense? How can I become a better person? And now you ask your question again. Oh, like in life. Well, you got to make a decision to do it, bro. Because think about some, think about, think about something right now. Um, I know how you feel. You know, some people say, you know, Wes, I want to be a better person. You know, I want to make money, but I need to be a better person. I'm doing the wrong thing in life, and I know I'm making bad decisions. Stop making bad decisions. 
Stop doing it, you know what I mean? Just stop making bad decisions. Stop doing the things that you know are wrong. Like, you're doing the wrong thing, because let me share something with you. Everything that you're doing right now is going, you're going to pay for it. You will. Five years from now, 10, you're going to pay for it, bro. And I know some of you guys say, well, Wesley, you don't understand. I'm broke. I'm poor. I got to rob. I got to steal. I got to do this. I didn't want to do that. But life, let me share something with you. Every man and a woman has a decision to make. And <clears throat> you can't sit there and tell me that just because you don't have any money and you can't take care of yourself that you got to go rob, steal, or do something wrong or cheat, or try to be slick, try to get a hookup. It's always a way, because I can always show you another person that is doing 10 times worse than you, and they made it, and they did it right, and they did it ethically, and they did it with more morality, okay? They didn't have to lose their values. They didn't have to do something because they said, well, I had to do it. You ain't got to do shit, but take a shit and die, and maybe eat some food and drink some water. That's about it. Don't... Don't tell me what you had to do. You ain't had. You made a decision to do that shit. You don't have to do nothing, nothing at all. You can make a decision. You just got to believe that your situation can turn around, okay? And, uh, and you can tell me all the stories because I know what you guys are thinking. Well, Wes, you don't know my story. It's hard. It's hard. Okay, cool. You know, but it doesn't make it, it, doesn't make it right. It doesn't give you an excuse to be a bad or a terrible person. Get up, make your bed up in the morning. You know, simple stuff. When you get up, make up, your, make your bed, right? And drive to work. Drive to work with a smile on your face. When you go to work, speak to people. Hey, how are you doing today? Be genuine. When you go out through your day, you know, I'm, just, I'm just showing you guys how to be a better person. At least compliment three people. You see something, you go to the store. Compliment the cash resident person, the cashier. When you go to the restaurant, tip the waiter, nicely. Tell them, ask them how the, about their day. Hey, how's your day going today? You doing okay? They appreciate this stuff. That's how you become a better person. Okay? Simple stuff. Uh, question for me. Do you do meetups? Not yet. Very soon. If you guys want me to do a Houston meetup, I will do it. In, but I need at least 100 people. 100 people, baby, in H-Town. So if you want to you wanna put that together, if you get 100 people in a place, I will fly. I will come to wherever you're at and... And we're going to have a party. Yo, can I get 15 minutes of Skype? I just purchased your program. Hey, good job, my man. I'm proud of you. I want to create something for all my successful friends. Good job. Good job. <clears throat> okay, hold up. Oh, I love you guys. I forgot to tell you I love you so much. Come to Greece. You know, believe it or not, Barbara, I'll be in Greece probably... Um, in a couple of months, I'm going, I'm, I'm going to go to Athens and Santorini. Uh, so give me some suggestions, Barbara. Let me know. Do you have any advice? I just gave you some advice as the manual. Any more questions for me, guys? If you got some value here tonight with me, go ahead and comment below and say, thank you, Wesley. I mean, I just appreciate that. You don't have to say thank you, but I just want to know, give me some feedback. I just want to know what I'm doing is it good or is it bad, right? Is it positive or is it negative? Let me know if I'm doing something good, you know. Um, I take what I do very seriously. Um, I speak from the heart. Nothing is scripted. I just speak from my heart 100%. So just let me know if you heard something tonight or you seen something tonight that um, touched you or affected you that's going to allow you to take action so you can hit that millionaire status like your boy Wes, okay? Oh, I'm gonna struck it big and left smoky. <laughs> uh, so funny. What's your take on weed, Wes? I don't smoke weed. I don't smoke anything. Do you care about money right now? I love money. Absolutely, I care about it. What if you don't have the kind of money you know, but you have great ideas? You don't need money to make money. I had $100 and I made a million dollars. You need drive. You need determination. You need perseverance. You need to have the attitude that you're going to resolve. It's called resolve. What do you resolve to do? Resolve means I'm going to do it or die, period. You don't need money. Are you hiring? Not at this current moment. Nope. Wesley, do you upload your live streams? I do on YouTube. Go to my channel on YouTube 
or go to wesleyvirgin.com. All the videos are there as well. I want to learn how to get money, bro. I just lost my grandmother uh, from cancer. I'm sorry to hear that. Take action, brother. That's all I got to do. Tell me something that make my life better. I just did, Emmanuel. Um, let me scroll down. How can I be self-motivated? You need to watch the video again, A. I just talked about motivation. I don't know how to find myself. <clears throat> As people say, I'm young, but I don't know where to start. It's millions of things in the world to do, but I'm 16 and I'm just lost. Well, how are you lost right now, A? How, where are you? Are you in a house? Are you in a city, in a state? You're not lost. Stop using these type of words. I want you guys to stop saying, I'm lost. I'm trying to find myself. You're right there. Pinch yourself, bro. If I was there, I'd slap you in the face so you can feel me, right? You'd probably beat my ass up. It's all good. But what I'm saying is stop using the words, I'm lost. <laughs> I'm trying to find myself. You're not a ghost, okay? You're there. You're not Casper, right? What you're trying to figure out is what your passion is right now, right? You're trying to figure out your purpose. That's a better quality of question. Remember, the quality of questions define the quality of life that you're going to live. You ask a bad question, you ask a terrible question, then you're going to get a lousy answer. Ugh, hold on, guys. Oh, these headphones. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hold on. Okay. So it makes sense. It's not about finding yourself. You don't need to find yourself. You're right there, bro. You're right there. Hello, peekaboo. All right. You're not lost. Stop saying you're lost. No one's lost. Anybody that's listening to my voice right now, you're not lost. Stop saying that shit. You're not lost. You're there. Look at yourself in the mirror just to make sure you're there, okay? Go, go to the mirror. Look at yourself. Well, what you're trying to do is find what your purpose is. You're trying to find out what your passion is. You're trying to figure out, you know, what type of contribution you can make to the world. The quickest way to make a million dollars is to help a million people. Serve, service leads to greatness. Service to people leads to greatness. The more you serve, the more you make. Make sense? That's all you need to do. But you got to find out what you want to do to contribute to the world. It's not about finding yourself. You're there. Or you're a virgin. I am a virgin. I'm a virgin with two kids. Uh, I'm new to the program. If you were starting from scratch, you need to go to my program, VIP. I give you all the tools that you need in the program. Get to work, my man. And I'm proud of you because you actually took action. The Shade Room been watching you. Really? Seriously? The Shade Room? I love the Shade Room. Those my I, I, I love the young lady that owns it. Well, I hope they watch me because I'm watching them. I'm watching you, Shade Room. How do you know what action to take? How do you know what to take action on? Well, you don't know, you know? I mean, you don't know. See, that's the great thing about being um, successful because you just don't know. You don't know anything, you know? You just like doing shit sometimes. The thing is you got to just resolve that you're not going to give up. I've did thousands of things and I've failed at thousands of businesses. I've lost a lot of money to eventually become successful, okay? The thing is, you gotta go with your intuition, the gut feeling. Sometimes your gut says, do this, and just do it. And guess what, it might not work out, but it doesn't mean that you're gonna like die. It doesn't mean that it's not gonna work out forever. You just do something else. What did you do when you tried to ride a bike when you was young and when you failed? You got back on the bike and you rode it again, okay? <sighs> I got $1,000 for you. Good job. Send me the $1,000. Appreciate it. Right now, it's 2.10 2, a.m. I'm 13. I'm stressed out because it makes me so, it, it makes me do so bad in school, and I'm scared of failure in my future. People are telling me that my dreams and my future are crazy, and it makes sense. Well, Salome, listen to me closely here, sweetheart. You're not crazy. As a matter of fact, you're very beautiful. I see your face. You're gorgeous. Um, don't worry about people, okay? Disregard the people that say that your dreams are not real. They're called dream stealers. Dream stealers are those negative motherfuckers that just because their dreams cannot come true or just because they've given up on their dreams, now they want to knock you down. Identify them. Understand that they are. They're vultures, okay? But I want to tell you something. You know, you're not stressed out. I want you to take a deep breath. Take another deep breath. You're special, okay? You're queen. Remember that. You're unique. People told me that I wouldn't make it as well. Teachers told me I wouldn't make it. Friends, 
It's okay. Okay? But you're going to make it. You already made it. It's already done. You already made it because you're 13 year old and you're watching and listening to a video like this. How many 13 year olds you know is doing this? You know what they're doing? Playing Fortnite, playing video games, doing nothing. Right? But you're special. Remember that. You're special. You're queen. Keep thinking like that. But most of all, keep getting the knowledge. Grab the knowledge from westcoastvirgin.com. Listen to my videos, sweetheart. Keep listening to them. Even when they don't make sense, just listen to them. Keep living, because what they're going to do is going to build your belief in yourself. See, sometimes what I want to tell you is this, Salome, is I believe in you. Sometimes you need somebody else to believe in you until your belief kicks in. And I believe in you, and I don't even know you. And let me tell you why. I believe in you because you're watching a video like this. You're different. 5% of people do stuff like this. I used to do this, too, when I was broken and busting. I stay up all night listening and watching videos because I needed to get the consciousness. I needed to get the thinking, right? I'm proud of you, Salon. I'm proud of you. Keep me updated on your on your status as well, young lady. I've typed this question eight times. I'm gonna get an answer. What's your question, bro? Oh, here we go. He's a scammer. Here, here, here goes the scammer guy. I took your 99 bucks. Here we go. Scammer alert. I mean, where do these guys come from? Let me, let me get let me get rid of this guy. Hold on. Sorry, guys. I apologize. All right, he's gone now. Is it true that you have to surround yourself with people that wants to be successful? No, surround yourself with people who are successful. Don't surround yourself with people who are trying to be successful like you. Two broke people can't get rich, okay? Period. You just can't. I don't care how positive you are and say, oh, we motivated. No, it doesn't work that way. You got to get around somebody who has already done it, period. Weston, I'm 19. I've took an action with one of your programs. Should I, should I get all of them? Absolutely. Explain broke. What do you mean? Broke. Um, no money. Broke. Mindset. Always thinking negatively. It's too many definitions that are broke. When I talk about broke, I'm talking about mentality, actually. Okay? broke mentality you think broke if you always see your world negatively if you're always talking about oh i have no money i have no this i have no nothing you're broke okay period that's just how it is you're always complaining that's a broke person to me all right any more questions folks man we had a great time here tonight i really appreciate you guys i love you so much this is wesley billion dollar virgin uh, i'm gonna do more late night sessions with a real life self-made millionaire wesleyvirgin.com where you can get more free easy content do i sound like a commercial right now Let's go. Okay, more questions? Hello. 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 Um, oh, I love you, Salone. Uh, always. I'm, I'm there for you, sweetheart. I'm there for all of you. I love all of you folks. you superstars in my book. What if it there isn't? Nobody my age had officially made it. Oh, trust me, bro. Everybody's made it at some age. Just do searches. Search YouTube. 13-year-old, 14-year-old, 12-year-old. Everybody's making millions these days just because of the internet. Um, how did you get so many affiliates for FatDivinistry.com? Um, I built relationships when I was broke. I built relationships with a lot of people. So when I had the FatDivinistry.com, I killed it. Guys, one thing about me, I'm good at making friends. You can't out -friend me. I mean, people just like me instantly when they meet me. I think it's because I'm just myself. Like, I would like I would come to you in your face and say, Let's go! Motivated! Let's go! Right? I, I don't care. Because <laughs> the only person I can be is myself, always. People love that about me. I'm a brother from Austin. What's up, brother from Austin? Oh, B. Madden, I saw you in that JCPenney catalog, bro. You was looking clean, my dude. I uh, appreciate you, my man. Hey, man, keep, keep, keep your thing. I saw you, B. Madden. That, that boy poses in um, J.C. Penny magazine. Man, that's amazing. Um, question for me. Good night. Good night. I love you guys so much. You're coming to Toronto very soon. I can listen to you for hours. Really? You can listen to my voice for hours and hours and hours and hours. I appreciate that, Barbara. I love you so much. What was your motivation when you were broke to get rich? My children. Um... My question is not popping up. I'm sorry, my man. Sorry about that. Does your watch still drive you today since you accomplished most goals? Absolutely, man. 
Please save this live so I can listen to your words again. Absolutely, Shalom. I now will save this live, but I'm going to have to get off to make sure I can save it because I think this video has been 40 minutes. I love you guys. I love you so much. I really do. Let me type it here because I really do love you so much. I want you guys to really hear me when I say that. I say that very gently. I love you so I love you so much. And I love you so much because of what you're doing right now. You're doing something that, man, no one does. They give up. Everybody just gives up so quickly in life about everything. It's so quick to have a negative attitude. But I'm sure one. It's just as easy as to have a negative attitude. It's just as easy to have a positive attitude to be grateful. And I love you guys so much. I love you so much. I love you. I love you so much. I really do, man, from the top of my heart. So I got to let you guys go. Remember, if you're on YouTube right now, go to WesleyVirgin.com. I did leave a description below. Make sure you get the seven mind hacks. If it's nothing that you don't do, get those mind hacks. They are for free. The mind hacks are for free. The mind hacks. Get the mind hacks, folks. Just download them and listen to them over and over again. You see my man, man, be mad. and He's listening to the mind hacks every single day. Okay, you have no idea what can happen to you in your life. You don't have to buy nothing. Just get the mind hacks. The mind hacks are life changing themselves. I love you so much. This is Wesley. Billion dollar virgin. Let's go. Lady folks, love you.